Please do not fall for this crap again, guys. All right, guys, don't forget to follow us on other platforms, sub on YouTube. Anyway, let's get into it. Okay, so guys, tis the season, all right? It's it's the start of the school year, so it's COVID season, <laughs> all right? So I think Tim Pool just talked about this um, today, actually. Jill Biden's got COVID, which is what we're going to talk about, but I just want to point out, like, so it does seem as if the, the media machine is trying to, you know, spin up COVID again. Um, if you go, you can go through, peruse through Twitter, you'll see a lot of... Uh, people talking about it. Of course, there's a lot of articles about it coming out now. Again, uh, I recently did an article where there's a variant that came out in Denmark and I think Israel. And the article was about scientists are struggling over whether or not it's time to shut down the UK. I was like, okay, so, all right. <laughs> but anyway, um, but look, you can go through, you know, uh, how COVID-19 is resurfacing after months of calm. Schools closing for COVID? Maybe not. Now that parents have power, which is good. It's a po that's a good article. I should, probably should cover that one. Uh, let's see. New COVID spike requires vigilance. Da, 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 da. Have we learned from COVID-19? Mostly no. No. Uh, let's see. And then, of course, this was from the New York Times. Oh, that's not it. I lost it. Anyway, the, the, the New York Times had an article basically saying... Is it time to start reinstituting like mask mandates? So I'm just gonna say at the beginning of this, no, no, no. People, please do not entertain any mandates of any type. It doesn't matter what it is. No more. All right, no mask mandates, no lockdowns, none. Um, it didn't work the first time. We were all lied to. Accept it. Let's move on. Um, anyway, look, First Lady Jill Biden tests positive for COVID-19. President Biden remains negative. First Lady Joe Biden tested positive for COVID-19 on Monday, while President Joe Biden remains negative for the virus, the White House said. Which is probably a good thing, right? I feel like it, the guy's hanging on by a thread. <laughs> the First Lady, currently experiencing only mild symptoms from Communications Director Elizabeth Alexander, said in a statement, Jill Biden remains at the Biden's vacation home. White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre said that the President Biden was given a COVID-19 test Monday evening after the First Lady's positive test and that he tested negative. In a statement, said the president will test at a regular cadence this week and monitor for symptoms. It is unclear what, if any, protocols we took. And look, let me say this, too. You know, I will say I think COVID was a big eye opener for a lot of people. So, there, of course, there is still going to be these these far leftist type individuals, these, you know, Democratic establishment type individuals who are 100 percent just going to lap up anything as it pertains to COVID. Oh, the Democratic Party said to do this. Well, that's what I'm going to do. The establishment, the state says that I have to do this. That's what I'm going to do. Those people are always going to exist. We get, just got to do our best to shun them, fight against their nonsense. However, I do think a lot of people who were, you know, moderates or, you know, just normal run-of-the-mill Democrats, normal run-of-the-mill leftists, not leftists, normal run-of-the-mill maybe progressives, you know, normal run-of-the-mill liberals, a lot of them, I do think, uh, are being honest with themselves, and they are being honest with what happened, and they're going, oh yeah, this was a big pile of nonsense, and so, and so they do, they, they're not going to fall for it again, but I put it, like, the people who would vote for RFK Jr., right, that large group of Democrats right there is exactly who I'm talking about. It is unclear what, if any, protocols will be taken on the White House campus in response to the First Lady's positive test. The White House has not yet said any additional precautions the President will be taking in the coming days. Da, 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 da. A Medal of Honor ceremony for Army veteran to be attended by the President remained on Biden's official White House schedule. Yada, yada. I mean, we were, look, the, the whole point of this video was just kind of say, to, to kind of just say, don't fall for this crap again, please, guys. Um... COVID-19 cases are on the rise again. Hospital hospitalizations from the virus are up 18% this past week. Jill Biden, 72, has tested positive for COVID-19 once before. Joe Biden, 80, the oldest pre president in U.S. history, contracted COVID-19 in July. Yada, yada, yada. Um, yeah, there you go. They're vaccinated and received boosters for the virus. That I, I mean, let's, come on, guys. Does that really mean anything? <laughs> Depends on who you ask, but it doesn't seem so. Um, anyway, <laughs> look, short video for today. Um, you know, this isn't really super no n newsworthy as far as her contracting COVID, other than just to point out 
that the media machine seems to want to kind of, you know, put COVID back in the news cycle. And, and I wouldn't be surprised if we see it more, uh, especially because we've got an election coming up. And I don't know. We'll see what happens. It's going to be an interesting year. But like I said at the beginning of this, no lockdowns, no mandates of any type. Say no to all of it. Um, no. No. <laughs> okay. Maintain your civil liberties. First and foremost, that is the most important thing. But anyway, let me know what you, what you think in the comments. If you disagree with anything I've said, please let me know why. Um, you know, it's the start of the school year. Uh, you know, children are going back to school, but COVID was never really a, a disease of, of, of children anyway, right? It, it was a disease of the elderly and of uh, compromised individuals for the most part. Kids weren't really an at-risk group, as far as what I can tell. But yeah, take care.